so this area of the garden is my next project. This is my moss and sedum garden here. You can see in the back here some rather large weeds that have grown up. At first they looked like an interesting reed grass, but then they turned out to be these weeds that look like giant dandelions. So I'm going to let them blossom so I can see what they are, so I can identify them, um, the variety of weed, and then I'll go ahead and take those out. I do need to work a little bit on weeding through here. I've got a lot of grasses that have cropped up over here. So I've got to revamp this a little bit. So that is my project for this week in the garden. It's a beautiful sunshiny day. Cottonwoods are definitely flying all through the air. You can kind of see them coming off these trees back here. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. They're just blowing everywhere all off. It Sometimes it gets to be looking like a snowstorm around here. And they definitely do set off the seasonal allergies. So I'll probably wait for those to stop blowing around quite so much. You can kind of see some of them falling through the sky here. It looks like a little snow. It's a big bunch of them there. And you can see the rock garden is also a project for this week. Okay, just an update on the garden. This is the corn patch here. You can see it's doing really nicely. They are growing really well. And I need to thin these out now. I also need to thin out the green beans here. They're also doing really nicely. Here are the peppers. They're also doing pretty well. It looks like I need to do a little bit of weeding and also um, get some water on these. But they are starting to flower and look like they'll be doing really well the rest of the season. The garlic is getting really close to the time that I'll harvest it. You can see here a little round curlicue. That's a garlic scape. You can actually eat those. I don't think I'll eat those this year. I might grab a few out to toss into one of my dishes, but otherwise these are getting real close to time to harvest. Here's the zucchini and pumpkin patch here. Also definitely time to thin these out. I kind of let them grow up to see which plants are the strongest, and I will be thinning these out today. The potatoes are looking very, very lush and beautiful, and I absolutely love their flower. Their flowers are so pretty. I love the light, sort of lilac-y, a light purpley pink color with the bright yellow center there. They're just very, very pretty. Here are the tomatoes and some of the softer herbs. They're doing really well, um, growing like crazy. You can see the little tomatillas starting here. I think it's so cute. I've never grown those before, and I just think it's really neat. I do need to trim down this cilantro. It looks like it got hit by a little bit too much heat, and it's also gone to flower there, which I need to trim that back. So I don't have cilantro growing all through the garden. The dill's doing nicely. The basil's also doing nicely down there, sort of in the shade of all these tomatoes. Here's the currant bush also doing nicely, so is the other one on the other side of the garden. And some of my blueberries are actually having problems. I'm not sure if it's heat or if it's a disease that attacked some of the blueberries in this same area um, last year. Okay, so here is the last day of June. You can see the flowers are definitely starting to mature and everything is looking really nice. Starting to get a little on the warm side because it is the end of June. We've been having a lot of sunshine. I went on a little trip that I will discuss in a later vlog and so a lot of my plants uh, do require some weeding. I had about a week away where I wasn't able to really get out here and keep up on the weeding so that's definitely something I need to work on today. And you can also see because of the heat a lot of my um, kale is starting to try to bolt. Here it is, um, this one as well, definitely trying to bolt. I'm going to cut those down. The green ones are not doing that so that's nice. I also need to clear away all of the dead. Um, chives here and um, make room for the new green ones to get growing again. The corn, as you can see, has gotten really, really tall. It's just doing beautifully. I just love it. I'm excited um, to see how well it produces this year. There are a lot of weeds in there. I've also got to go ahead and get those out after I'm done watering today. And here you can see the first of my little sun gold cherry tomatoes. The green beans are doing really well. It looks like they are going to start producing here anytime now. You can see the little flower here, the little white bean flowers. So we'll have some green beans. There's already, I think, a few little tiny ones starting to form. So that'll be another week or so, and then we can start having our green beans. The peas this year didn't really do much. I'm not quite sure what I did wrong. They have been watered, but they're just not doing really well, and they just didn't produce quite right. So I will have to read up on um, tips for next year and try again. Here are the pepper plants. You can see lots of weeds in here as well that I need to get, but there are so many little peppers starting to form here. You can see one right there and a couple right here. So definitely time to start harvesting some of those. 
And today I'm going to harvest all of my garlic and get all those weeds out. Here's some of the flowers in the blueberry patch here. Also needing to do a lot of weeding here. It's that time of year. Here is the zucchini and the pumpkins. They're doing well. They're also starting to produce little tiny zucchinis here. And the pumpkins are starting to send out their runners. The potatoes are getting close to being harvested as well. And the tomatoes are doing great. You can see so many here on the vine. A lot of those. We'll have a good crop of those as well as the tomatillas here. And the parsley is doing really well, but the cilantro did not make it through the summer. It dried up, so I will have to replant that in the fall or here in another couple of weeks. And the big dill plant is also doing really well. It looks really pretty. This is the blueberry plant that I'm a little bit worried about. It's got some brown leaves on it. I'm not sure if it has a disease or what. Again, something I'll have to read up on. There are blueberries on there, though. They're a little bit tiny, but I will go ahead and pick those and see what they taste like. Here's some of my sedum flowering there, and it looks like a nasturtium grew all on its own, which I'm really excited about. I think they're so pretty. And here's my little shady corner doing really well. I love my little ferns there. They're doing nicely this year. So that's that corner. And my crazy wild grape here is not really producing anything yet. I did not prune this correctly. Um, I'm thinking about pruning it down and transplanting it to a different spot in the garden later on this year. Um, but we'll go ahead and see how this does anyway. So that is my garden for now, the last day of June. I will go ahead and include a clip of the garlic that I have uh, harvested as well. And actually upon closer inspection with these peas here, I did notice quite a few pods. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick those as well today. You can see here's one that I picked open, some nice ripe peas here. So even though these didn't really grow tall and grow up the trails here, they must have been of bush variety or something instead. I will be able to pick some of those and get them harvested today and show you what that looks like as well. Okay, so I've got the garlic bed all harvested and weeded. You can see some here and then also some here in the wheelbarrow. I'm actually putting these in the wheelbarrow to move them out of the way of the hose so they don't get wet. They have to dry in the sun for a bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those in my wheelbarrow and get them all laid out. And after I water the garden a bit, I'm going to go ahead and get some of the weeding done. So here I've laid out all the garlic that I've harvested in a slightly shadier part of my yard so that they don't cook in the sun tomorrow. I'm gonna let them dry out for a couple of days before I brush off the rest of the dirt and bring these inside. I'm actually really happy with the amount of garlic that I have. Some of the pieces look like they were in the ground a little bit too long and the rest look really good. So I'm really excited about that. A fun garlic harvest here and I'll be able to use this in my cooking for the rest of the year. And here are the few peas that I was able to pick off of our pea plants. I'm gonna go ahead and get these all cleaned up and shelled and then show you what that looks like. And one of the most surprising harvests of all today, my first egg from the chickens. It's very cute and tiny. I believe it was my barred Plymouth rock that was laying this earlier today. She made a little nest in there in her a little coop. She hasn't quite gotten used to the idea of using the nesting boxes, but that's okay. It's a precious little egg and I am super happy about that. So that is another exciting harvest today from the garden for my sweet little chickens here. They're currently having a little bit of cornbread there and they gave me a beautiful little egg. So these are the peas that I got from our pea harvest. Not very many, just enough for about one serving. But that's okay, it wasn't a complete loss and it was just a really small sort of experimental planting. I think I'll try a different variety next year. But what I like to do when I have a very small harvest of green fresh peas is turn them into a, a nice fresh green pea puree and serve it on crostini. That's what I did last time I had a small harvest and that way everybody could enjoy a little bit of the um, pea harvest here. So. I will go ahead and include a link below for that green pea crostini. I wrote about it on my blog years ago, and I'll go ahead and link that below. That is probably how I will serve these, but it's definitely really nice to have an early spring harvest. So, so far we've got some green peas and garlic and a fresh egg from the chicken coop, and our garden is looking beautiful here at the end of June. I'll continue to update you throughout July on our garden's progress. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at my garden. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe for more videos from April's home. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.